Greetings and salutations, folks. I'm Josh from Lazy Acres. Thank you for tuning in. We are saving the world here one trailer at a time. Today, we're going to take a look at a 2021 Flagstaff model number 8529 RKSB. This floor plan's been changed a little bit for 2023. I like this version as well. We got three slides, a rear kitchen, an outside kitchen bed slide up top, weighing around 10,200 pounds. This is that secondhand sugar, and I'm here with my friend, that Dutch bad boy, Brennan Hannemeyer, on the camera today. Say hello, Brennan. What's going on, happy campers, future campers, and fellow salespeople? Thank you so much for tuning in to the number one RV YouTube channel in the world. If you don't mind hitting that like and subscribe button, we'd appreciate that. We're also on Instagram, TikTok, and we're on Facebook producing some sweet reels. Maybe you should check those out as well. Enjoy this video. Right on, Brennan. We got a great looking front fiberglass cap in through here. Nice unibrow light. The top portion in through there is all painted, so it's not going to fade or corrode on you. Looking good, Brendan, from there? Great. From bird's eye view? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Rotating pin box right through here, which is pretty slick. Means you can use this with a five and a half a box or a six and a half a box without putting a sliding hitch in your truck. We have a rougher style storage in through here. Battery in a box location. There's actually space there for two batteries. Uh, and then we're coming around this side. We've got our propane tanks. I believe the 30s. Yep, 30 pounders on either side. Electric auto leveling controls are right there. It's a four point electric auto leveling system. Here's our pass through storage. They still do this today, Brian. I like how they do this. They offset these doors so you get the full use of the space in through there. Over to the right, we have our city water connection with our fresh water fill, black water flush kit, outside shower. And then you're winterizing, you're sanitizing, you're doing all that kind of fun stuff in through there uh, with an outside receptacle there. Trying to hide on me, Brandon. It's black. Ooh. Furnace vent, secondary fresh water fill, outside light here lighting up this area for you. I assume our sewer, yeah, sewer is down there. And then these are 16 inch Goodyear tires. Love to see that. Aluminum rims in through there. Torsion suspension, frameless windows throughout. Rack and pinion slides all the way around. Secondary sewer drain here for our rear kitchen. 50 amp detachable style cord. Roof ladder, get up on your roof. Check your seals every 90 days. That's a one piece rubber roof, which is just how I like my grandmother's bathing suits. And then here on the door side, we've got another gas hookup down through here with a rack. And then here's our outside kitchen. Our outside kitchen's underneath an awning, which is slick. Two burner stove top, two cubic foot fridge. Covered in through there. Pause and enjoy life. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> Getting me fired up here this morning. <laughs> we got our four step entrance in through here, secure to the ground. Cable assistance, so this clips up and in really, really easily through there. Friction door hinge. I don't think so. It's a friction door hinge. Well, it's been opened a couple times. Yeah, you know it's not I mean? very friction anymore. Yes, the coefficient of friction has gone down. I learned that in science class, Brennan. Got a nice little light here. We got a hookup down there, six gallon gas electric water heater. Right here is the other side of our pad for storage. And then we have our electric awning right in through here. Uh, there's lights underneath both sides of the awning, or both awnings there. Nice weather shield as well. We've got a fan here this morning. Say hello, Cornell. <laughs> yeah, not interested. Let's have a look inside. Right on, folks. We're inside that rear kitchen flagstaff. This is really squeaky clean in through here. We haven't touched this yet, inside or out, as far as cleaning goes. Looks really, really nice, though. Freestanding table and chairs right there. Window on the door side. Another window right through there. And then we do have a little bit of a uh, extension here for the tabletop. We're going to get to the living room stuff here shortly. Here's our gas electric fridge. Now, we've been kind of discussing this here this morning, Brennan. To me, that looks bigger than eight cubic foot, and to you, it does as well, but we can't really see in there the cubic footage on the label, so we're going to go with eight for right now. Could be a 10. Covered space there. Drawer down in through here. Another drawer here. These are soft closed drawers. Oven down below. Glass stove top cover. And then into our uppers, we got an oversized microwave. Covered space here. Cupboard space there. Cupboard, 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 cupboard. And now into our lowers, we got great counter space. It's all solid surface. There's a pop up receptacle in through there. Cupboard there, cupboard there. Look at all the space in through here, Brendan. Goodness gracious. Then we've got drawers down here. Again, a soft close. Nice little raised spot right here for like a bar area. 
slash breakfast nook, slash, you know, splash, slash um, prep area, which is great. Theater seats are right here across from the TV, and we'll get to that shortly. There's a pop-up piece here for receptacle and the USB in through there. Windows, double MCD shades, pull-out couch in through here. It's a trifold style sofa. Window to the right of it, and then covered space here all the way across the top. <clears throat> and then to our entertainment center, we have our TV right here across from the theater seats. This is going to pop out, give us a whole lot of storage there above our outside kitchen. Central vac accessories, Brennan. Ooh. Ooh. DVD player, radio, shelf in through here with our sound bar, fireplace down below. Right there's your central vac. Lovely to see that. And as you walk in, the actual unit itself, we have all our switches for everything in through here. And then, where's our hallway light, Brennan? <laughs> don't worry, we'll figure it out. Well, as don't we worry, go. we'll figure it out as we go. <laughs> Hang on. Hmm. There's one. There's our step light, aisle light. We're good to go, brother. Okay, into the bathroom. Now, I don't love how this door opens in like this, but it is what it is. Can you see me here, Brennan? <laughs> Usually I don't use the washroom with the door open though. No. Right, I get to be quite comfortable with somebody. Porcelain toilet, cupboard spot there, fantastic fan above us, towel bar in through there, and then into the shower. Look how long this shower is, B. Like it's a huge garden tub. We got a seat here I can sit down and shave my legs. Stainless steel sink, cupboard right there. Medicine cabin here. Awesome possum. And then into the bedroom. Now we gotta find the bedroom light switch. Alright, king size bed out in the slide, bedside tables, lights on both sides, receptacles on both sides. Um, and then here's our wicked looking closet here. Cupboard, cupboard, a couple drawers here down below. Again, those are soft clothes, love to see it. Closet here at the front, shelf, shelf, a little bit of bonus space there. Another closet here, or the same closet, but just the other side. We do have laundry prep in through there. Light, seamless counter here in our dresser. Some more soft closed drawers. Couple windows here on either side of the dresser. That's the video. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit us up on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Have yourself a good day.